Thank you for viewing this video today. I'm here at Fort Mountain uh, State Park up in North Georgia around LJ. And I'm here in front of this stone wall that it is believed that the Native Americans uh, built this wall. It's about 850 feet. And behind me you see the stones that are piled on top of each other. They use this place for sacrifices and the worship uh, to the sun. And this is a place uh, that we have come to talk about bringing down the walls of division in the body of Christ. Unity. Unity is a key word right now for the body of Christ. Let us come together in one accord uh, with one spirit. You know, it says that there's one baptism, one spirit, one faith. And in, in Psalms 133, it says, How good and how pleasant it is when brothers can live together in unity. It is like the precious oil or anointing poured out on the head. Jesus is the head of his body. Running down on Aaron's beard, down to the uh, collar of his robes. It is as if the dew of Hermon are the mountain where we're falling on Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestows the blessings, even life forevermore. You know, in this place, this place, I feel the energy of God. I feel that this is an opening uh, to the heavenly realm and the presence of Almighty God. If we need the presence of the Lord, it's now. We need it now. We need that those walls to come down. You know, in 1 Corinthians 12, uh, 25, the Apostle Paul tells us that there should be no schisms in the body, no divisions uh, where this um, denomination is raising up this wall and, and this denomination is raising up uh, their traditions and their doctrines and it raises up a wall. Uh, have you ever tried to have a conversation with someone and they always want to cubbyhole you? They always want to know where do you fit so that they will know what you think and your, your traditions and your doctrines. You know, we must bring these stones down. We must bring uh, the, uh, this, this worship of man and this worship of, of doctrines and traditions. Uh, we must bring it down. Uh, just like uh, this, this represents behind me uh, the wall that those some in the body of Christ have put up. You know, in, in Joshua, you know, in, in the Joshua uh, people are being raised up even now, those that are warriors, uh, those that are ready to, to defend uh, the truth. Hallelujah. And if we go to Joshua chapter 6 and verse 1, it says, Now Jericho was tightly shut up. Because of the Israelites, and no one went out, and no one came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands. So, march around the city, and do what I tell you to do. And then let the war cry go out, and the wall will come down. If, if there's a time uh, that the war cry must go forth from the people of God, from the prayer warriors especially, L cry out, cry out that these walls of division will be tumbling down. You know, and if we read on the story uh, in chapter 6 of Joshua, uh, he told the priests to, to march around it with their trumpets. Uh, the ministers of God, I'm calling you forth uh, today to blow your trumpets in Zion, to blow your trumpets so that the people know the truth. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us live together in one accord, in unity. And so he had them march around uh, the city, and he did that for six days. And then on the seventh day, God told him, uh, march around it. And on the seventh day, they got up and marched around the city seven times. Seven in the Bible means completion. God is bringing this, this age to a completion. I am telling you. Today is August the 30th, 
and there is a shift going on. There is a shift going on in the mindset of the body of Christ. Those uh, that that thinking uh, that is not correct. God is reversing that and, and changing that. Hallelujah! Isn't that wonderful? On this day, praise the name of Jesus. And they marched around it, and he said to them, and the seven time around when the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the people, shout for the Lord has given us this city. You know, there are places that we go and we ask the Lord to give us that territory. We claim it for the Lord. And this is one that I claim today in the name of Jesus here on top of the mountain uh, with this stone wall behind me. I say in the name of Jesus that the body of Christ, that those walls that they have put up uh, are coming down, are tumbling down, just like in Joshua chapter 6, that no longer will we be shut up, but we will be free uh, just to release the power and the Holy Ghost. I command the Holy Spirit to come into this area and to come into this mountain area and just uh, release its power, release his power. Release his power in Jesus' name. I reverse any curses that have been put on this land. And I say, let this be a prosperous land uh, in Jesus' name. I pray for you today that your mindset will be toward unity. That your mindset will be changed today. That you will know that the body of Christ is one. That Jesus is the head of his body. And there is one faith and there is one spirit. And that is the Holy Spirit. Uh, Receive him today. Receive the Holy Spirit in his fullness today. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray for your healing today. That you be healed in your spirit and in your soul and in your mind, in your finances and in your body. Hallelujah. God bless you today. Thank you for viewing.